Step right up, step right up, and get your blast Naga hats and Bible today. They're going past, so don't delay. We have gathered here today in our dismay. What you've done is now on public display. Progress is only made when you meet halfway. To the legacy booth you go where the truth is always told. We the people. Please come in, we've been looking over your life's work and good deeds. Lay bare your sins before the Lord. Hear me, O Lord, for I have sinned. Continue. I failed to fulfill my DACA campaign promises and party agenda. I failed to inform Americans about fine print in Obamacare. I failed to level with the American people on the reasons for climate change. I kept my promise to give Iran $1.7 billion. I could never have known it would be used for terrorist activities. I facilitated the greatest transfer of wealth from the middle class to the indigent, poor, illegal immigrants, and wealthy. I failed to secure the border. I encouraged woke programs and aided in the total destruction of fossil fuels in this country. My Fast and Furious program did go a little bit astray, resulting in the murders of countless Mexican citizens, probably Americans, and we know FBI agents. The Scamometer gives you high marks for honesty, for that you will receive the lighter sentence. Under the RICO Act, your assets shall be seized and redistributed back to the middle class. You are hereby sentenced to two years at Guantanamo Bay, where you will make new friends. This shall be followed by two years probation, doing community service in the Nazi soup kitchen. Next. Ariel, O Lord, and bear witness to my sins. And they are many. I failed to register as a foreign agent. The Easter Bunny told me not to secure the U.S. border to incite chaos, murder, and mayhem. I had no idea I was investing in biological warfare labs in Ukraine. I have furthered the elite, woke, and green causes as instructed. I use every branch of government to further our causes and abuse those against us. I must disarm America for its own safety. Terrorist dirty bomb threats are highly unlikely with my border security. I have no control over the production of petroleum, plastic, helium, or any other vital petroleum-based products. I have no control, nor could I have foreseen a shortage of baby formula. I am still competent to be president. I am disingenuous and have promoted distrust, division, and disinformation at every government level. The Scamometer says you are a pathological liar due to brainwashing techniques and personal enrichment goals. Your moral compass has been completely altered. You shall be remanded to the Atascadero Mental Institution for evaluation and brainwave studies without the possibility of release. Your frugal earnings from treasonous activities shall be seized to compensate American citizens for your failures. Next. Oh, Lord of Lords, grant me forgiveness. Highly unlikely. Proceed. I failed in establishing the Illuminati New World Order. I failed to resolve the health care issues, but did commission a new aircraft carrier. I failed to reduce erroneous regulations, burdensome laws, and escalating taxes in all forms, but I did increase the deficit. I failed in my response to Katrina, but I did get brownie points. I knowingly, repeatedly deceived the American people about the WMDs for the sake of oil, U.S. currency stabilization, and of course, a hate contract on the Bush family. I failed to secure the 88 pounds of radioactive material during the invasion, which is now in terrorist hands. I am solely responsible for the deaths of 66,081 Iraqi men, women, and children, in addition to 4,431 U.S. troops. Oh Lord, is there any hope for redemption? Indeed, you have done an exceptional job, and you deserve a one-way ticket to our hottest vacation destination. Next. Oh, Lord, I am not worthy, for I have sinned. 
I beg forgiveness. We shall see. I failed to register as an elitist agent. I failed to honor the Tenth Commandment. I failed to consider Osama bin Laden a threat to this nation and did not give the order to terminate him at the terrorist training camp. I failed to reform corruption in the banking industry, but I did implement NAFTA at the behest of corporate America to the exclusion of the American worker. I did begin implementation of green and wool programs and increase the EPA ability to badger the common citizen. I did increase gas taxes. I failed on missile defense, but did give Beijing our missile guidance system and let them launch Intel satellites. I was instrumental in orchestrating the Alpha Bank and Russian collusion inquiries at taxpayer expense. You are beyond redemption. Your lack of leadership, forethought, and FBI indifference led to the 9-11 tragedy resulting in the murder of 2,977 innocent civilians, 6,000 injuries, and billions in damage. Only to be followed by your mean green programs, infidelity, NAFTA, the compromise of the U.S. defense system, among other treasonous acts, pack your bags. We have extended your stay indefinitely. Lord, the buck stops here. The sinner stands before you. I am deserving of your judgment. Only the truth will be your redemption. Your life's record is tarnished at best, but I see in your latest position as president there were many adversarial forces determined to eliminate you at taxpayer expense. Something I'm proud of. I grant you four more years to guide the flock. In Red Washington, the swamp denizens, gutter snipes, and sewer rats, which even I detest. See you in four more years. Next. <laughs>